hey everyone welcome back to my channel hope all you are good i am also good so today we are going to do sp32 otf farmer update okay so sp32 otf farmer update we are using the github so github cloud so we will put our new binary file on the github cloud and our sp32 will check is there any new farmer update on the github if yes then it will download the new binary file and it will save update and if, if there is no new farmer version then it will just skip it okay that's it very simple very convenient and you can use in any of your project okay ota is very vital for our iot devices because our iot devices sometimes are installed on a remote location so we will need to update farmer or debug some code so it will very very easy for us if there is a ota function so in this code we are going to do this so this is a block diagram simple block diagram so first our system will booting then it will connect to the wi-fi so we need the wi-fi connection because uh, we need to access our cloud to download or check the firmware then there is a function will call which is checking is there is new function new firmware version available if yes then it will start download the bin file okay so after downloading the bin file it will start writing the farmer and it will finish the writing farmer then it will self restart it and self restart it goes to system booting again so after there is no again it will check is there is farmer available if no then it will go to the loop and do your other step here so that's a simple program you can use any of your next project okay so we need to create uh, something on github actually so we will create a new repo here i will show you step by step so you will understand let's say sp32 farmer so this is our repo and it will be public and we will uh, initialize with readme file so this is our repo and we need to create uh, a file name version dot txt and let's say uh, we will update the version 1.0.1 .1. this is our new farmer version okay so let's change okay so this version file will uh, ask this uh, check actually so and we need to create a release actually okay create a release but uh, we need the link first okay so if i show you the code so this is a code and you can see there is a farmer url there is a version url so farmer url uh, will be the same as here and the version url also should be the version url okay we need to change here actually esp32 otf farmer we need to put this repo name so this one is esp32 farmer so this link will be exactly same as your azure repo okay and same here esp32 ota farmer so this just need the changes in our code and we will create our farmer version also 1.0.1 .1 and we will create a binary file so export binary we will create the binary file then we will upload uh, in the github and then we will run a different code so we can make sure the difference is our esp32 uh, so uh, taking and updating or not okay so uh, we just created the binary file and right now we will release our binary file okay so this um, we need to 
so we will find this is farmer folder name and build and dsp32 farmer dot bin file okay and we need a tag so we can say dsp32 farm or so this is our tag release title sp32 farmer version 1.1 and this is a new new release okay that's it and we will publish the release so you can see in asset there is the bin file and to ensure we will copy the link and check is the same link as this you can see release download sp32 farmer farmer dot you know dot bin sp32 farmer so exactly same make sure this link is same because if the link is different it will not found the binary file and it cannot connect so again we will check the version url as well so open the github again and this is the version the text and you can see in the raw and we just ensure that it is so uh, github is a content at typo sp32 farmer reference head main version text so exactly the same okay so you you already know this farmer as a bin file is uploaded on the uh, github okay so i just change the version name is 1.0.1 and i will upload this code to our esp32 so tools com and upload so what happened here i just uploaded 1.0.1 and in our server there is the former version is 1.0.1 so different so then our esp32 will download the new former and upload okay let's check okay it's complete connecting to wi-fi checking for new version current former version is 1.0.1 .1 and latest former version is 1.0.1 .1. so it's download you already started and uh, this is the farmer size and it's just writing started you can see there is no local wi-fi it's on the internet on the github cloud so this is a true ota okay there are many available video uh, that are just uh, in the local server or your bluetooth but this is not your because our uh, devices will be in the remote area okay so there is a different network different internet so we have not a physical access so that's why we need out here so you can see it's just upload the new farmer and you can see uh, latest farmer is 1.1 and current farmer version is 1. so up to date so you can see we just uploaded this code and now it's running on this code so this is a successful OTA update using github cloud in our ESP32 so I hope it will help you a lot and you can use this method in your next ESP32 project and if you like this video please subscribe my channel and watch more videos there like sim800l gsm uh, raspberry pi okay so so that's it for today and hope uh, you like it. Thank you.